What's up, y'all? This is uh, Gorilla Bob. I'm in my home kitchen in this in luxurious Pleasure Ridge Park, Kentucky, from Louisville, Kentucky. We, uh, I get a lot of people ask me. They want to see how I cook at home. They want, they want what they want is my recipes, and they're not gonna get that. So we started we put out some feelers. We said, "What do y'all want to see me cook?" And the first thing everybody wants to see is hot brands. We're not gonna do hot brands. They want to see meatloaf. We're not gonna do meatloaf. We're gonna do it. We're not gonna do it the first time. This is the first episode. Hopefully, hundreds of thousands of episodes, at least tens of hundreds of episodes. Anyway. So I got me a little beverage. Uh, my homie James is, is, is our cameraman and director and we're gonna try to do this today. And I decided what we're gonna make. One of my baby mama said she wanted a crawfish grilled cheese. She seen the other day, some guy made on Facebook. And I don't know if you know anything about Kentucky, but we're on the Ohio River and we don't have crawfish. We got crawled ads and they probably got meth. Get the hell, you son of a Get the hell. It's the Ohio River. So where are you gonna do a shrimp grilled cheese? Grilled shrimp, kind of like a shrimp scampi, a shrimp and a cream sauce. Uh, just know it's gonna be fire. Everything I make is fire. And it's on fire. And one thing I wanna point out is you don't have to make everything fresh. You don't have to chop up garlic and you don't have to dice up the onions. And I went out this morning and put my fishing chucks on and found these wild caught frozen shrimp at the local grocery store because the shit ain't gotta be fresh either. I mean, come on, we ain't got time to do that anymore. I got five or six kids, depends on who you ask. So we, we just gotta, we gotta get it together and, and make some food. That's what, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to do this, what, every Sunday? At least once a week, we're gonna make an episode on good stuff to cook. Today's is gonna be outrageous because it's, I say it's a grilled cheese, but it's on this fresh bread. The bread is fresh. No, I didn't make it. I bought it. But that's how big the grilled cheese is going to be. It'll feed two or three people. Nice and soft. I'm not trying to tie the restaurant in, but that's the same bread I use for my Cuban meat. But we're going to do something totally different with it today. So without further ado, we'll get started here in a minute. So what we got is, I know it's a lot of butter. It's a pound of butter. We got a pound of butter in here. I should be ashamed, but I'm not. I really don't care what you think about me. You cook whatever you want to cook. Cook however you want to cook. I melt the butter on some high heat. We're gonna add garlic to it. It's not fresh cloves of garlic. I don't know how much garlic I'm adding to it. I'm gonna add garlic to it until I think it looks good. And if it's too much garlic, then somebody's gonna bitch at me, but they usually not. It tastes perfect. I just go by eye. I'm not a chef, I'm a cook. I'm a, he wants some butter already. I'm a hood cook. I cook everything by eye. I don't measure anything. Other than butter, of course, because, I mean, you can't never have too much butter, but some people argue the fact. Then here, we're gonna melt down the butter. We're gonna add some uh, Italian seasoning and add some garlic and get it. And then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with this bread the first time. we're gonna. We're gonna use this little grill thing I got over here a couple times, and then we're gonna make the magic happen. This is so easy, and that's what I keep saying. Everybody wants to make everything difficult and act like cooking's hard, and some cooking is hard, but the stuff I do for the most part is fun and easy. We'll make homemade lasagna on these shows, we'll make white lasagna and red lasagna, and then everybody wants to see the macaroni and cheese. I'll share the whole recipe for macaroni and cheese because no matter how many times I give people that recipe, somebody always Can I say that word on YouTube? You're gonna believe it? Okay. Yeah, I can believe it. <laughs> no, matter, no matter how many times I give away the, the mac and cheese recipe, it never comes out the way we make it. But I will show you all the recipe. Another popular thing I make is cowboy beans, green beans, we'll, we'll do it all so you can cook like Gorilla Bob. I never even thought I was gonna be a cook. I wanna be some factory worker somewhere and then Ended up just start cooking for somebody and we ended up catering and next thing you know here I am. Some some super famous chef's gonna see this and tell me how bad I'm doing, how wrong I'm doing, and that's what's gonna that's what's gonna make it all special. <laughs> so once we get the butter melted, we're gonna add our garlic. Again, this is watered garlic, it ain't minced garlic. It's garlic and water chopped up. Yep. You can see it? Yep, okay. Yep. Water and garlic. Okay. 
If you're not in here, you it smells super garlicky in here right now. Yeah, where'd you put the garlic? And then some Italian seasoning. We're turning that heat a little bit. You don't want to burn the butter. So we got our seasoning in there. I don't care about making a mess, we can clean it up. I'm gonna take this bread, I'm gonna dip this bread in here. And now we got garlic bread. How hard was that? We'll put it over here. We we'll leave this bread in here. We got more garlic bread. We're gonna toast the bread over here. And at the same time that's going, I'm gonna add some cream. This is heavy whipping cream. Not the same kind of whipping cream y'all used to me talking about, but it's. So this is where it gets a little technical over here. We added our cream, we got our garlic, we got our Italian seasoning. I'm gonna add some Cajun seasoning, nothing special. You don't have to add Cajun seasoning if you don't like it. I like Cajun seasoning, a little spicy. You can add cayenne pepper to it. You will bring it to a boil. When I say bring it to a boil, it's gonna foam up. And then you gotta get super fast. And once it foams up, you wanna pull it off the heat. Not yet. Just wait. Toasting our garlic bread. Anyway, I started cooking. Mother was a single parent. She raised three kids. She always cooked our food. Well, at the time I was a single child. My, my brother and sister done moved away. She always cooked our food and she left me plates and she left it in the microwave. But sometimes I didn't want the food she cooked. So I'd go and start making my own food. And I just started cooking for myself. And I'd get in trouble because I'd waste the food she cooked plus cook the food she had for the next day. But it turned out it worked out pretty good for me. Our bread should be good and toasty. Yep. Yum, garlic bread. And more garlic bread. We're going to go back to that in a minute. We want to get this good and hot. I'm gonna go ahead and add our fresh cut tray out of the freezer shrimp we got this morning. You know the secret when shrimp's done? Mm -hmm. It ain't cold no more. Everybody knows, you should know. If you've never cooked shrimp before, the shrimp gets done and they turn pink. They cook in about a minute. Even frozen, they'll cook in about a minute and a half. As long as you got good hot. Cooking hot butter, or creaming butter. I don't know none of the fancy names. This is what, I make hot browns, they said, what's that Mornay sauce? Says it's cheese gravy. Call it whatever you want to call it. You're cooking food, you're cooking, cook what you like. I'm gonna add a little more Italian seasoning. I don't see enough, enough green in there for me. Like I said, we're gonna get this coming to a boil. You'll see it'll foam up. You heard the old terms like watching water boil, like watching cream boil. This is the perfect example of that. Yep, yep. I made for radio, I'm too ugly for TV, but we're gonna give this a shot anyway. <laughs> you can add a little salt and pepper. I don't normally cook with a lot of salt. Being that it's not fresh, fresh food, it's processed food. Processed food's got a lot of a lot of salt and stuff added to it already, so you don't need to, but since we're being fancy and we're on TV, we got this cute little salt shaker.
like and share the video. Uh, James has got a couple YouTube channels. This is going to be called Gorilla Bob TV. It's going to be on YouTube. And I think he's going to put some on TikTok. Make sure you follow James. And then give me any suggestions. What do you want to see me cook? What's something you want to cook? I know a lot of people want to see me cook some of my family recipes. And we'll do that. We'll do that in the coming weeks. Also follow that dude Stale Cracker. Now I see why he always hydrates because you get a lot of dead air waiting on shit to boil. Oh, you gotta drink Modelo too. Once this gets boiling, we'll pull it off the heat and then we'll add our cheese to it. Oh, making moves, look at it. How much cheese do you add, Bob? How much cheese do you want to have? I don't care. It's your food. So if you ever seen me make white lasagna or eat my white lasagna, and you're like, how do you make that sauce? That's it right there. Minus the Cajun seasoning. And now the magic's happening. All that stuff's getting together. We got real shredded Parmesan cheese. Whole milk, mozzarella. Don't come at me if your stuff tastes like crap because you use some processed cheese. Use real cheese. If you're gonna hurt yourself and get fat, just do it right the first time. And that way, you ain't got no worries. We're all gonna die anyway. Might as well die, eat what you like. Die happy, that's right. <laughs> some people like cocaine and hookers. I like cocaine, hookers, and food. That didn't come out right. I like food. <laughs> Look at our shrimpies. There you go, James, they're pink. You know your shrimp are done, pull off the heat. You should pull out the heat. It should be boiling. It's boiling now. I don't have nothing fancy. This is our first episode. We're going to add our cheese. I can feel my arteries clogging right now. Oh, God. I mean, this is, this is more food than just one sandwich. You can make some noodles for this. How many people do you think that would feed? I mean, honestly, <laughs> if I put more shrimp in it, you can feed a family of five probably with this. And how much money do you think you got invested in just this meal here? Uh, you can get this brand at your local supermarket. It's a dollar fifty, two dollars, two dollars, two dollars for the bread, four dollars for that cheese, that big bag. I mean, that's a commercial bag of cheese, but uh, four dollars for the cream. Under twenty dollars, honestly. The most expensive part is the butter. The pound of butter. The pound of butter. That's in there. <laughs> Maybe twenty-five bucks. You can feed a family of five. Noodles don't cost nothing. You can get a box of noodles for a dollar. And that's crucial nowadays because yeah. everything is expensive to eat. And that's the thing, dude. I don't, I don't want people thinking everybody. You know, I opened my restaurant. And everybody's like, "Why'd you pick the South End?" Well, I was born and raised in Oklahoma, which is the South End, and then. I moved out here in 98, and this is the Southwest. So I want to give back to my people. When I was growing up, you couldn't get a hot brand unless you went to the fancy restaurants. You went downtown, you went to the Highlands, you went, you did stuff like that. You know, you, so I wanted people to be on their lunch and be like, get whatever they wanted and take it and go. And you know, the more I move forward in life, the more I might succeed, I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to keep giving back to the South End. And you can't go, you know, you, you think you have to spend all kinds of money to have decent food. You don't have to. You don't have to go buy a whole chicken and tear it apart and debone it and cook the chicken and do this and do this. I can show you where you can get some real chicken that's been cooked and frozen and you just add to it and you end up with really good chicken stuff. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised what you can, what you can do with it. And I'm not saying fake stuff. I will never use fake pre-cooked chicken and none of that stuff. So what we have here is a shrimp Alfredo sauce, basically. There's our shrimp, there's our Alfredo. It just needs to melt down some more. And I took it off the heat because it'll scorch. All that cheese 
But if you pour all that cheese in that boiling cream, a couple seconds, you'll be sticking to the bottom of your pan. You'll have a whole thing of runt cheese and you'll just have dog food at that point. Now this is where I'm gonna mess y'all up. We're gonna take a bunch of this and a bunch of that and stick it on this. And then my son Jacob's gonna be a happy camper. <laughs> But we're not gonna, he don't wanna be on film eating. So, we gotta find all the shrimps. I only got enough shrimp to, to make one of these. You know what I'm saying? Ain't that gonna be messy? Hell yeah, it's gonna be messy. I'm come back over here. Sometimes the messier the food, the better. Yep. You got some cheddar cheese. That's why I like my eggs. The messier it is, the better. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's a whole other episode, right? <laughs> We're gonna end up like some street racing guys talking about only fans and. <laughs> Look out, happy and wimpy. Yeah, happy and wimpy. Happy and wimpy show <laughs> cooking channel. I'm gonna make a whole mess here. I knew there was more shrimp in there. Well, I wouldn't call this a pole boy because I'm not Cajun. And that's hot as shit. <laughs> Look at that though. We're just gonna let it. My hands are clean, people. I wasn't digging in my butt or nothing. <laughs> so, what we got is a shrimp Alfredo grilled cheese sandwich cheddar cheese, mozzarella cheese, Parmesan cheese. Cajun shrimp alfredo grilled cheese sandwich. What we make that in about 15 minutes? Yeah, 17. Yep. A quick, easy, inexpensive. Not super inexpensive. I understand if you're on a budget, you ain't gonna want to do all that. Yeah. But something my wife's been wanting to eat, and I almost made it today, and she told me no, she wants to wait, is we're gonna take a big French bread, one of these French breads, and cut the center out of it and make grilled cheese, I mean, uh, spaghetti sandwiches. Ooh, now that sounds good. Be, we'll do that next time. Yeah, that sounds good. Maybe we can get her in here cooking, because I got like 20 dishes and she likes to dirty up every one of them. <laughs> Maybe eat the cheese part. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. The money shot right there is the money shot. There's your Cajun shrimp grilled cheese. You can even take some garlic butter and baste the top of that and then make it even special. I mean, you gotta. Somebody will say, put that on your menu. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> but it's fire. And get you an ice cold drink. Tune in next week. We'll be out there. We'll see you soon. Rollabob TV, y'all. Like and share.